and what's up everybody i'm back with another playoff predictions video yes it is time it is october and that means it is time for the mlb playoffs to begin um we have a total of 12 teams that are going to be duking it out uh in october for the world series um sadly the tigers did not make it despite a all right, uh, season. I'm um, getting finishing second in the division, though the division was complete shit this season. So, I guess that's how much I'm gonna do. And farewell, Miguel Cabrera was a great season, great career. Uh, pleasure to watch you play for so many years. Um, and I'm really gonna miss seeing you out on the field. But at least he's gonna be in the front office now, and also, um, you know, they have more money to throw at uh, other talent. In the spot in the roster, so that's okay. But uh, that's really all I'm gonna say about that right now. But because uh, this is about the playoff predictions, so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through um, you know each um, league or each conference. I don't think they're called conferences, but you know what I mean. The league, American League, and the National League. We're gonna go through each of them. Um, we'll go round by round, and then at the end, uh, I won't all, I guess I always do, I won't always pick the amount of games they'll win in, um, in every series. I will do that, though, for the, uh, World Series, so, um, let's get down to it. I got on around my phone here. So, let's get down to the first series, the AL Wild Card, um, a 6-3 matchup. The Minnesota Twins, the winners of the AL Central Facing the Toronto Blue Jays, the runner-up in the AL East this season. Um, and, you know, on one end, you have Toronto, who's all right this season. They haven't been great. They haven't been terrible either. Um, but, you know, you know that's, that's you know, just the extents of their uh, uh, stuff. Sorry, there was something on the wall I had to get there. Um... But then you got Minnesota, a team who's not been a very strong playoff team in many iterations. I don't think they've won a playoff game in, like, they have, like, a 16 or 17 game losing streak in the playoffs, um, which is, like, the largest or second largest only to, like, the Pistons in, like, all four major sports. That's pretty impressive. Um, but they do have home field advantage here. But because of that futility... I'm going to have to give this one to the Blue Jays, honestly. Because also, fuck the Twins as a Tigers fan. So, uh, Blue Jays, I'm thinking moving on. I think it'll be a pretty close series. These teams are pretty evenly matched, despite the seeding difference. Um, so, I think it'll be, it'll be a good one, though, I think. And then, the Texas Rangers and the Tampa Bay Rays. Actually, the Rays finished second in the AL East. Blue Jays were third. And then the Rangers were second in the AL West. Um, this season. It's cool to see the Rangers back in the playoffs, though. There's some uh, long futility, and the Rays still uh, running with a strong core, making it uh, into the postseason. They will have home field advantage over the Rangers, and I gotta give this one to the Rays, mostly because of that, but also because I just think they're a stronger, more experienced team in this situation than the Rangers, though this is another series that I could see being a pretty close and competitive one uh, all throughout, so give that one to the the Rays, and then we'll move over to the wild cards in the National League. Um, the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks, second in the NL West, facing the Milwaukee Brewers, the winners of the NL Central Division. Um, and this is another one where you know the Brewers they haven't looked great. They definitely are not the team that they were a few years ago. The Diamondbacks are on a nice rise after uh, some not so great seasons. Um, so that it's cool to see them both back in the postseason and meeting up. Um, they've had some pretty exciting matchups in the playoffs in the past. So hopefully we get another good one here. Uh, though I don't see this one being ultra competitive, but I could really see it going either way. Um, if just for the, again, for the sake of home field advantage, I'm going to have to give this one to the Brewers. Um, though, really, I could see the Diamondbacks winning it too. Um, it's really hard to gauge who I would think would win. Um, but I, I like both of them here. So, And then the last wild card matchup, uh, the Miami Marlins 
and the Philadelphia Phillies, both in the uh, NL East division, second and third place, respectively. And, um, you know, this is another one that could be a very, very tight one. But I'm going to honestly have to give this one to Philadelphia because, again, home field advantage. And also, I just think they have some stronger bats than the Marlins do. Nobody in the Marlins really surprises me that much. Um, well, Bryce Harper's on the Phillies, so you got to give him that. Um, and they'll edge it out. But this is another one where the interdivisional matchup in the wild card round as well, I could see it being a very, very close um, and competitive one uh, as a result. So. So that's it for the wild card round. We'll move on to the AL and NLD division series, I should say. Uh, moving back over to the AL, uh, it would be the Blue Jays facing the Astros, winners of the N uh, AL West. Boo! Boo! Cheaters! Um, again, I think for the sake of home field advantage and also the fact that the Blue Jays are probably only going to win the wild card series because they're facing the Twins, um, I, I don't think this will be close. I think the Astros will win it in three maybe four games if the, the Blue Jays can make it a little bit of competitive at their home field, um, but no more than that. If it goes to a game five, I'd be surprised, and if the Blue Jays win, I'd be even more surprised. But I would be happy, though. I would totally laugh in the Astros' cheaters' faces. Um, so uh, that's really all I can uh, gauge from that. So it'll be a good run, though, for the, for the Blue Jays. Continue the streak of stupid in Minnesota. And then here's a shocker. It would be the Tampa Bay Rays facing the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, where Who saw this one coming at all? Uh, shout out to Purdue, the Purdue guy, um, whose favorite team is the Orioles. I got to ask why. Why the Orioles? Uh, weird choice. I mean, they have a nice ballpark. That's really about it. Um, but it's cool to see them in the postseason. They haven't been to the playoffs in a long, long time. Um, in fact, they broke a long playoff. Well, I guess they made the wild card round. I think it was 2016 was the last time they were there. They lost, though, so I don't know. Can you really count that? I'm going to count that one. Um, but this could this is going to be a tight matchup. Again, like I said before, the Rays are a strong, I think a more experienced team. They've been here before uh, many, many times recently. The Orioles have not, even though the Orioles are going to have home field advantage here. Really could go either way. I think this is a series that could go very competitively to four, if not five games. Um, and that could be very, 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 very impressive uh, going forward. So, uh, But I'm going to have to actually give this one to the Rays. I think the Rays are going to win this one in five games. Uh, sorry, it just fucking jump scared me there. Fuck. Um there's a spider on the wall. I'll get it later, but uh, shouldn't be any problem. But uh, so the Rays, I think this one to win this one uh, in five games. So, and then over the NLDS, the uh, Dodgers will be playing the Brewers, um, winners of the NL West, uh, and I think this is going to be an easy Dodgers victory, 3-0 or 3-1 maybe, but really 3-0 I think is the. Uh, correct assumption that we should be making here. Um, even though, you know, the Dodgers are notorious for, you know, choking in the playoffs, I don't see that really happening here. Really don't, so. And then the Braves would be hosting their division rival, uh, the Phillies, in the uh, second round of the playoffs. And, um, you know, this is another one where... I think the Phillies can make this fairly competitive. Four games at least, um, and a close games at that. But the Braves have a lot of power. They're, I think they're one of the best teams in the league right now. Um, and they'll be on home field. And I just see that equating to a uh, Braves win. Uh, I think three. I'm going to say in four games, I think the Phillies will win one game and make game four competitive or even maybe game two. But... Uh, that's really about it. So, And then the championship series is um, in the AL. I have the Astros facing the Rays. And as much as I would like to see the Rays win this series and knock off the cheaters, I just don't see it happening. 
Uh, I think the Astros are just too powerful um, with their garbage can hitting. And um, having home field is also a big, big advantage with the conference, with the, I say conference championships, the championship series. And so I think the Astros are going to win this one. I can see this going to six, even seven games, however. I think it will be a very competitive series. But I think the Rays are going to not have enough power uh, to get it done, so. And then in the NL, the NLCS battle, it will be um, the Braves and the Dodgers, the 1-2 matchup here. And um, I can see the Braves winning this one very handily. I um, think they're going to win in five, maybe six games. Could be easily, could sweep the Dodgers as well, depending on how well strong they look against uh, the Brewers in the D in the division series. Um, but... No more than, than six games. This game series will not go to seven. Um, Braves will win pretty handily. They'll have good control over it. So, And then we have uh, the World Series matchup. The Houston Astros out of... Houston Cheaters, I should say, out of the American League facing the Atlanta Braves out of the National League. Who do I think will win uh, this series? And uh, this is another competitive one. It really is. Uh, I could definitely see this one going uh, lots of different directions. Um, but I'm going to pick the Braves to win this series in six games. Um, Houston, I just don't think we'll have enough power. The Braves have looked really, really good. In fact, I watched them play twice this season against the Tigers in a doubleheader. And they looked really, really good in both of those. So that's why I'm going to uh, pick them to win this series so but that is it for my mlb playoff predictions video um and that's also done for for this video too um so i want to go hear your guys's predictions now what are your predictions for the playoffs i'd love to know in the comments section uh down below how what did you think of my predictions what are your predictions who are you rooting for in the playoffs any specific player or any specific team um i'd love to know and so that's going to do it, though, for this video. Stay tuned for other much more amazing content as well. And until next time, see you guys later. Goodbye.